I would imagine that every person has been guilty of taking life for granted at least once. I am also one of these people. Life in reality is short and we should cherish every day and every moment that we have. Everyone has their own way of living that is unique to them. Personally, I am a family guy. I try to spend as much time as I can with my family and I enjoy the time that I am with them. The way a wolf stays in his pack, I stay by my family. I do a lot with my family, but sometimes I wonder, what is it that makes me so special? One of the traits that I take pride in is my humor. I like to make people smile, and I also enjoy seeing a smile on people's faces. Those who are close to me know that I like to make others laugh. I also consider myself to be smart. Maybe not the smartest person, but I can come up with solutions. I also like to be organized, and I like to plan ahead. But I do have my flaws. One of these is that I can at times be lazy, and I can also be short-tempered, but I try to improve on those things. This is my way of living in this life. My childhood was not perfect, but when I look back at it, I realize that it could have not been better. Both my parents lived the majority of their lives in Mexico, and when my parents got married, they moved to the U.S. My parents were always with me throughout my entire childhood, and they helped me when I was growing and supported me in a lot of what I did. They were always there for me, and whenever I had problems, they helped me. I don't know what I would be today had it not been for my parents being there for me when I was just a small boy. My brothers were also very impactful in my childhood, as I was raised in a house with only brothers. It was just me and my two brothers, and they were very influential to me as I spent most of the ma- a lot of time with them. And most of the amount of time I spent was with my brothers. I remember that we would do everything together. And a lot of what I did was because my brothers would do it, so I did it with them. My childhood friends also showed me what a good friendship is. I learned that not everyone was a real friend, and that showed me how to choose the friends that I had. I'm glad that I was blessed with a good childhood, and that I was never alone, as my parents, my brothers, and my true friends were always by my side. Having dreams as a child is good, even if they change over time. My dreams have changed over a long period of time, and that isn't necessarily a bad thing. When I was in the first grade, I wanted to be a teacher. I would even pretend to be a teacher at home, and I would get our stuffed animals and sit them on chairs and pretend to teach them English and math. Over time, I lost that interest, but it helped me realize that I like to help people and teach others. Maybe not be a teacher in school, but be a teacher to my friends and family. My latest dream was to become an NBA player. I like basketball, and I can remember that I always wanted to play basketball. I would practice every day, and that helped me work hard each day. However, over time, my priorities changed, and the dream of the NBA faded away. Right now, I am focused on doing a good job in school, and have plans to go to college. I'm still looking for what I want to have as a job or career, but I do know that I want to have a good and stable job and I dream of myself having my own family one day one day, and providing for them. For me to reach these dreams, I know that I have to work hard and that it will not always be easy to reach these goals. Throughout my life, there have been several people that have influenced me greatly, but none were as influential as my parents. My mom has influenced me by her words of wisdom and constant advice. She has always given me advice on what to do and has helped me realize my mistakes and my flaws. She has also shown me kindness and love and has taught me many valuable lessons along the way. My dad, on the other hand, has taught me more so through his example. He is not the most talkative person, but he has also given me advice through his words. He influences me with his life story and has taught me that I have to work hard to succeed and that nothing comes easy. He tells me stories about when he first came to the U.S. and how he had to work hard and how hard it was for him to do good. This has, this has taught me that nothing comes easy in life and that I have to work hard. My parents were very influential on me growing up and I owe everything that I am to them. Along the way, I have made several mistakes, but who hasn't? I realize that I am not perfect and I am just as capable of making a mistake as much as anyone is. 
One of my mistakes was being lazy when it came to work. I always waited to do everything last minute, until one day, I finally failed to do my work. I was disappointed in myself that I let laziness get the better of me, and I let myself fail an assignment. My teacher later let me make up the work, but I still felt disappointment of falling short. This mistake helped me notice that laziness will get you nothing. It is easier to simply say tomorrow, but it is far better to say today. Everyone has mistakes, but the important part about mistakes is accepting that you have made one, and taking responsibility for your actions. Mistakes may feel bad at the moment, but over time they help you avoid the same mistakes and progress in life. You may ask yourself, what can a 16 year old possibly teach? While you would be right in that I don't know everything there is to know, I have picked up a couple things along the way. One of these things is that you should enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. You can never truly be prepared for what is next, but you can always take precautions. One thing I have learned to do is to take advice from others. No one has a perfect answer, but you can always take ideas from others' experiences, especially those who have lived longer. Also, you should stay motivated, even when you are facing problems. I have learned that you could do much more by having a good attitude than starting off with a bad attitude. Most of all, life isn't about being famous, but leaving a mark on those closest to you. Don't be carried away by having fame and popularity. Instead, focus on leaving a mark on the lives closest to you. Don't look back and keep looking forward and leaving a positive impact on those closest to you. For me, that would be my friends and family.